Today I am entering new territory and trying my hand at a thrift haul. This is all stuff I bought in the last week or so. Every once in a while I have a phase where I'm tired of all of my t-shirts and I sort of cycle some of them out and get some new ones and I'm in one of those phases right now. So I went a little nuts with t-shirts. So the first one is this unicorn, which I adore. Um, I got this at Savers, which I don't get a lot of stuff there. I just don't have as good of luck there. But I really, really love this unicorn drawing. I really love, I know I'm a grown woman. I still love unicorns. I don't care. That part of my brain is still 13. Deal with it. This one, I was, it really, first, first this part of the design caught my eye and then I realized it's got this raven here on the side. And I just really like this print and it's super soft and comfy and I'm, can see myself wearing it a lot. This one actually came from the guys section. A lot of the guys t-shirts have really cool prints. I mean, obviously there's the ones, you know, that's where you go if you want good nerd stuff because unless it's really obviously like a baby doll t-shirt, clearly a woman's t-shirt, if it's got superheroes on it, if it's got gaming stuff on it, whatever, they'll put it in the guys section. I really like this print with the wings and the flourishy stuff and the ro kind of roses in the background. This one, I love these kind of vintage prints. It's a fake like magazine, vintage magazine cover sort of thing. But what I love about it is it says Broadway theater. This little skirt, I wear them as skirts by themselves in the summer because I tend to wear skirts in the summer more than I wear shorts. But also as like little petticoats peeking out under other dresses and skirts. I love that and it's all cotton and it's eyelet and I just, I like the lace and it's cute. This was at uh, Village Discount Outlet, which is, a, it's a chain, it's a regional chain and you find them in Chicago and the suburbs and in Northwest Indiana. And even though it's, the name is Village Discount Outlet, it makes it sound like it's, you know, a factory outlet type store for new stuff, but it's not, it's a proper thrift store. My day job just recently changed the rules and it used to be we could only wear jeans on Friday but now we can wear jeans every day. So I needed new nice jeans. So I got a couple of good pairs. These are uh, Old Navy, the sweetheart style. And they're just, they're a nice heavy-ish denim with a little bit of stretch to them. Super, super comfy and this nice dark blue. And these ones um, I found on the same trip, actually somebody tall must have donated to Goodwill, which makes me happy. And they're just at, they're actually kind of about 32 and a half in the seams. So they're just barely long enough. And there are some shoes that I probably wouldn't wear them with, but they're super, super comfy. They fit nice in the waist, which is really, you know, to have things fit my butt, my hips and my waist, and I don't have to wear a belt is like practically unheard of. And these are from Rough Hewn, which is, I've actually never seen this Rough Hewn brand in retail stores. Not that I shop there very much, which probably has something to do with it. Their stuff is pretty well made and I just really like the style. This is actually made of grosgrain ribbon that is sewn around and around in a spiral. And the thing that I love best about it is it has a wire in the brim. So like I can change how it shades my eyes or I can tip it up so I can see things and it's, and, I, and then I can fold it up and crunch it up and put it in a bag and have a hat that I can wear in the sun because I am pale and pasty and do not want to fry. And this was at a uh, community thrift store, which is a uh, independent thrift store in Dundee, Illinois. All of their prices are palindromes. So this was 414. Also from community thrift, yes. This bandana with skulls on it. And I don't know, I just really liked it. Again, from Community Thrift, uh, this is 313. Um, it's not real leather, but it's a good imitation leather. And I don't know, it just got kind of a steampunk vibe, which I could put on another belt too, if it fit on there, but this happens to be, oh, this is by New York & Co. There you go. This one, I love, love, love these tops with the, the little collarless blouses with the like, pleating or tucks or any of that kind of detail. And this is in kind of a seersucker, which I love. And it's sort of a pinky purple, like an orchid color. Yes, I remember my 64 box of crayon. And this one is just fun. I love the stripes and the roses and the sort of faded feel to the print. And I love these kind of fluttery wing sleeves that it has. These are chiffon 
and the rest of it is like a really lightweight t-shirt material for my husband. New wing collar shirt to go with his Victorian suit that I made him for our wedding, inspired by the Eighth Doctor's costume. Plus, the waistcoat is a Chinese brocade, so he can wear it for Firefly. So it's just, let's just say probably no guy in the history of ever has gotten as much use out of his wedding outfit as my husband has. But the shirt, the wing collar shirt that we got for him for that back then, is starting to look a little sad, so I've been on the lookout for a new one for him for a while, and I finally got it. Also for my husband, because he doesn't really have a costume for these to go with right now, but who can't use good pirate boots? Um, these are actually, even though they were in the men's section at Goodwill, they are a women's size 10, which is the equivalent of a men's size 8.5. They are faux leather, but it's a pretty decent faux leather. Is a tiny little tiara which I think is just meant to be you know worn like in the top knot like you know Audrey Hepburn style but I actually got it for my dollies uh, I have not introduced you lovely people to my personal doll army I should do that one of these times that would be fun it's got these little, per little pearl flowers and it's just got a very Victorian feel to it I keep seeing willow pattern teacups with no saucers and therefore not buying them. Today I found a saucer with no teacup. So the next time I find a willow powder teacup, I'll put it together with that. I love tights with funky prints and these are like a dark charcoal gray background with, with these wonderful, very Victorian roses on them. Savers is a great place to look for shoes. Just Minnetonka moccasins. I had not looked at moccasins in years. And you know, they used it used to be you'd slip and slide all over the place if you had the ones with the suede bottoms, but now they've got these clever little grippy things that like poke through the suede. I love moccasins, they're wonderful, comfy things. The last two items, I honestly am not sure which one I'm more excited about. This is a total knockoff of Kira Knightley's dress in atonement that everyone went bananas over that I still that still pops up on my Tumblr dash, like what, seven years after the movie came out? I have no idea where I'm going to wear this. I don't care. And really, the very best for very last, Gunny Sacks. Love it. Great condition. I love, you know, I, I love all of the calicos that they had. This is probably late 70s, early 80s, you know. It's a prairie dress without the waist and it's got uh, pockets and the sleeves are long enough for me. It's a size nine, which, you know, usually with gunny sacks, you find the really tiny sizes. And, you know, this kind of thing goes for like, what, 35, $40 at, if you're lucky on Etsy, $4 and 16 cents at the Salvation Army. Not only that, it was still there on a late Saturday afternoon when the store was packed, I saw it and I'm like, how is this still on the rack? Mine, yoink. So that's it for my very first thrift haul. Let me know in the comments or on social media if you'd like to see more. I have a lot of fun. Of course, I always have a lot of fun thrifting. And I'm gonna go around and check out a few more people's cause it's a lot of fun to vicariously shop. So that's it. Until next time, bye-bye. because I'm one of those people and I have a personal doll army, so don't cross me. <laughs>